So many people cannot live without iPhones because they are in the iOS ecosystem, which basically means blue bubbles in their message app. This is especially true for people in the United States, and it is one of the main reasons people cannot switch to Android devices. So today we are going to solve this specific problem using free software. If you have a computer and a couple of hours to spend, you may find this video useful. Please note that this video is targeting those who don't have a Mac computer. In this video, I'm not going to show you how to install Ubuntu or any other Linux system on your PC. There are tons of tutorials on YouTube on this subject. And it is quite easy to do that. Usually it takes only half an hour to do so. My PC is running Ubuntu 2004 because I have been a Ubuntu user for years. Once you have a functioning Ubuntu system, go to Ubuntu Software Center and search for Sosumi. This is by far the easiest way to install a Mac OS virtual machine on Linux system. Now we have Sasumi installed, open it, and we are now entering the Mac OS installation process. First, we need to create the system disk. Go to Dix Utility and select the first Dix. Type in the name of the Dix and choose to erase. Then quit the Dix Utility. Now we can start installing macOS by choosing Reinstall macOS option. We'll be installing Catalina. Simply follow the instruction here and you'll be fine. This may take some time so you can have a coffee or walk around a bit to stretch your body. After the installation, on Reboot, you need to choose this option using your arrow key on your keyboard. Boot macOS from macOS and continue finishing your setup. You may want to sign in your Apple ID for iMessage to work. Now we have a fully functioning macOS on our Linux machine. The next step is to install an application called AirMessage. You can see the macOS runs quite slowly here. This is because we don't have GPU acceleration, but for our purpose, it is totally fine. Go to airmessage.org to download their server app. Once downloaded, copy it to the application folder and double click to run. Please note that the default server port is 1359 and this is important. You can also change the password here. Now, since the air message app is running within a virtual machine, we need some help for our Android phones to make a connection with it. 
first go to ngrok.com and create an account. Then we need to download the NGRK software. Once downloaded, copy it to the application folder. Double click on it to run. If you get the warning here, go to security and privacy in system preference and choose open anyway. When you see the process completed message, close the window. Now we go back to the website here and copy the command line. Open up a terminal, paste the command line, and change the path of the command as I did. Run this command as seen here. Please make sure the port is the same as you saw in your air message server setting. Now we have this window showing NGROK running. Do not close it. You may want to remember the address as I highlighted here. I would suggest making a copy to your text editor. Now go get your Android phone and go to Play Store to download the Air Message app. Open it and type in the address you just copied into your text editor. Also type in your password you set in the Air Message server before. Now you have your Android connected, you can start sending and receiving messages just like using iMessage on iPhones. One thing you should know is that every time you restart the macOS virtual machine, the NGROK address changes. So you may want to keep it from rebooting or suspending. Go to the system settings and set the sleep time to never and you are done. Now enjoy your blue bubbles on your Android phones. Thanks for watching.